And now welcome to the stage, Thank you. our next high school finalist, Japan United. Please come to this side of the stage to exit. <laughs> Remember safety. <laughs> safety is one of our values. <laughs> I am continually amazed. Uh, I, I could not have pulled that off in, in high school. <sighs> come on, team, to the stage. We're ready for you. How we are Japan United. To maintain physical health, we usually take dry to supplement vitamin C or protein, then what maintains our mental health? 320 million people, which is almost the same as the population of the United States, actually represents the number of people suffering from depression worldwide. Nearly half of all global depression cases are found in Asia with Japan unfortunately waiting among the D7 countries in suicide rates. Suicide is the waiting cause of death among the productive population 10 to 30 years old in Japan. Okay. According to WHO survey, 99% of suicide victims have a background of mental illness. How I think the significant issue of mental disorders in Japanese society. Depression is a mental disorder characterized by profound sadness that, depress, that, that disrupts daily life, loss of motivation, and interest in things. Uh, little. <coughs> interest in things. Where was it? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, okay. <laughs> and, and it falls under the category of mood disorders and with bipolar disorders and others. Currently, many individuals are working towards the treatment of depression, primarily utilizing pharmacotherapy centered on SSRIs and SNRIs, as well as psychotherapy, which involves counseling and extended discussion with the therapist. We actually communicated with experts in the field of depression and came to realize an important thing. It is that the awareness of preventing depression and there is and, <coughs> and there is self care for mental health is not yet widespread. Pharmacotherapy and psychotherapy are effective in treating depression, but still are methods, the methods employed after the onset, onset of depression and cannot prevent it in advance. Furthermore, due to due to the strong side effects of medication and the high cost of treatment, they are not suitable as simple self-care for mental health. So we focused on three components found in a flower called saffron and proposed creating an affordable and simple means of supporting mental health. Saffron, which has been producing in high quality in Japan for about 300 years, contains three antidepressant and effects components known as crocin, crocetin, and ficrocrocin. Clinical studies have confirmed that three components have similar or even greater antidepressant effects compared to the anti-anxiety drugs with significantly fewer side effects. However, obstacles such as high production costs and the difficulty of genetic editing are, um, are genetic editing are currently major limitations to widespread use. Therefore, we attempt to produce these three antiprecedent components using E. coli. By incorporating these bacteria into cookies and offering them to people, we envision that it will be possible to provide mental health support simply by consuming cookies, establishing an affordable and effective self-care approach. 
we named this project Suffer Cure. But why cookies? Depression patients are advanced against foods like bread, cookies, and cakes due to their potential to cause blood sugar spikes followed by crashes. However, inadequate carbohydrate intake can lead to low blood sugar and depressive symptoms, so balance is crucial. Hence, we chose oatmeal as a primary ingredient in our cookies because it contains blood sugar regulation beta-glucans. It is also preferable to include nuts and high cocoa chocolate. Import importantly, none of these ingredients inhibit the effects of the compounds we produce. Additionally, they help reduce unnecessary stress by alleviating guilt associated with sugar consumptions. Therefore, these cookies could be potentially play a crucial role in addressing these issues. We, we started our research taking this into account. First of all, we attempted to biosynthesize crocetin and, and picrocrocin using BR21 without special substance addition and succeeded. Biosynthesis of picrocrocin in vivo by heterogorous expression has never been done successfully, and it was an extremely difficult task. However, we have utilized engineering cycle, utilized engineering cycle to overcome this difficulty. First, we examined the production of crocetin by introducing parts of O into DH5 alpha and BR21 strains. Crocetin production was confirmed in both DH5 alpha and BR21 strains by HPLC mass analysis of extracted culture medium. Next, we will discuss the production of picrocrocin. At first, we tried to confirm substance pic pr production by introducing parts which we call OO that have enzymes up to HCCC and parts which we call O1 that have enzymes from HCCC to picrocrocin into BR21 strain separately. However, this didn't work. So parts O1 was assembled downstream of parts OO assembled in PLK404 and, and, inter, and, and, and introduced into the BR21 strain. The reason why the original strategy didn't work was that, was that the promoter of o, parts OO was an endogenous stack promoter in E. coli. While the promoter of parts OO was, was a T7 promoter, so the enzyme upstream of the biosynthetic pathway was not produced and only the downstream enzyme was produced. Fortunately, the intermediates in the biosynthetic pathway was designed were cartonized, so we were able to run the DBTL cycle based on colony color. The supernatant, and supernatant was analyzed by HPLC mass con confirmed the production of picrocrocin. Part of one is a saffron glycosyl transferase. This was the tr first successful heterogorous biotransformation of picrocrocin from HTCC using the above enzymes and the first biosynthesis of picrocrocin in a heterogorous organism under condition that didn't not that didn't include special substrates. We originally planned to extract the components from E. clay and include the cookies. However, in the course of experiments, we realized that in the realized that the extraction of the target substances required four times or four times the amount of methanol and chloroform as as culture, and we saw we could produce the we could produce them at a lower cost by eliminating this process. Therefore, we concluded that we could the cookies containing a uh, dielectric containing equally with the three antiblacins in vivo as a fossil. In a case, the BO21 strain is not for suitable for human consumption, as is from a probiotic point of view. Therefore, in line with our goal, we aim to synthesize saffron derived antidepressant component using the equally new 1917 strain, which is approved for human consumption by the FDA. Okay. Also, we engaged in with depression patients and their families and experts to prepare for the production uh, product introduction into society. In comparison to competing antidepressants, the uh, we confirmed that yeah, advantages of a product, including minimal safe, uh, minimal side effects and low psychological barriers associated from uh, associated with its consumption in the form of cookies, and that's not all. 
The cartagena act now regulates the growth of genetically modified organism, e so E. coli, which is uh, capable of proliferating, cannot actually be transported to the human mouse under the cartagena act. So it has been a major hurdle in social implementation of our products. We have repeatedly discussed how to address and uh, handle this situation together with our team members, researchers, companies, and finally we decided to carry out an additional project in a short notice. To break down the chromosome of E. coli bacteria that have accumulated antiplacent components, thereby eliminating the ability to multiply. Uh, since the Cartagena Act regulates the growth of genetically modified organisms, uh, we thought that we could eliminate the ability of E. coli uh, to grow. Uh, we would dramatically lower the regulatory hurdle for providing cookies. Because we envisioned uh, social implementation, uh, we sought a system that would minimize uh, the, in the uh, incidence of escapes. It is known uh, that it is possible to create a uh, chromosome-free E. coli by using chromosome uh, selective uh, restriction enzymes and the strict uh, expression control system indu uh, inducted uh, by crystal bioleft. Finally, we succeeded in confirming that E. coli uh, Nissel 1917 and E. coli BO21 were no longer proliferating by colony formation and in confirming chromosome free using the BO21 strain. We confirmed the absence of colonies with appreciate antibiotics and CV for uh, strains of uh, E. coli strains uh, after uh, incubation. Uh, however, uh, some colony formation occurred by CV uh, containing plates likely due to escape mutants. Observations of several samples with different incubation times showed that the uh, uh, chromosome-free state was achieved. The strength of our system is that the giant plums, plasmid has the potential to re, uh, remain functional even if it can, becomes a chromosome-free. We challenge whether we could confirm substance production in chromosome-free equally by performing CV induction at the same time. We confirmed that the samples became uh, chromosome-free after CV induction. We also confirmed the pro, uh, production of crocetin in the CV indexed uh, culture when the chromosome-free state of the E. coli strain has confirmed. We were the first to propose the concept of using restriction enzymes as described above in IGEM. And we were also the first to successfully uh, uh, demonstrate chromosome-free in E. coli. Uh, our system has strong uh, potential, is highly standardized, and can be adapted to most bacteria, and is expected to be using various agent projects in the future. So finally, the antidepressant effects of crocetin, crocin, and picrocrocin have been reported on a clinical scale but their specific mechanisms of action have not been reported. Therefore, we use the simulation to predict the candidate mechanisms of action for these three substances. Previous studies have suggested that the three substances may inhibit in norepinephrine reuptake, and we, we speci specifically targeted the norepinephrine transporter called NET, then which is known to be involved in the reuptake. We performed the docking simulation to predict whether these three substances could interact with the binding site of norepinephrine. The results suggest that the crocetin may not bind to the binding site due its the far distance from the site. Interestingly, the possibility that glucose may interact with crocetin, with, uh, which is a glycosylated form of crocetin emerged. Picrocrocin was also suggested to interact with NET by a safranol molecule. Based on the above, we did not fully elucidate the function of crocetin. 
but we were able to predict its mechanisms of action to a large extent because there were suggestions of potential interaction with nets for crossing and picker crossing. For social implementation, we partnered with a local participant and a Japan saffron producer to create prototype cookies infused with natural saffron for a social initiative. We gathered feedback from depression sufferers and their relati uh, relatives. We conducted a SWOT analysis, created a lean canvas, and prepared a financial plan. Market research and conversation with depression patients confirmed our project's viability. Furthermore, to ensure the acceptance and effective implementation of our project, which involved genetically modified organisms. We pro prioritize inclusive learning. We employ diverse educational method, including classes at various educational levels, online platforms, contribution to libraries, online events, and laboratory session to make information about synthetic biology accessible to hum uh, people from all backgrounds. Additionally, all educational materials, such as slides and protocols, are publicly available for anyone to replicate. Three hundred twenty million people, which is almost the same as the population of the United States, actually represents the number of people worldwide to whom we can offer our helping hand. Just as vitamin C helps invigorate our body, the time for achieving mental health through simpler means is almost here. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.